Boss Hill. So what happened though? What just happened to us? Um, we have global entry, so it's quick. We don't have to show up three hours early. So we leave the shop with like an hour and 20 minutes to spare. We get in our Uber, and our Uber's driving so slow. I'm like, man, we really gotta get there. We're, we're pressed for time. He misses two turns, drives slow as hell. We get here to Spirit Airlines, and we are one minute late. Our flight is at 2.45. We got, we got to the kiosk at 2.01. Tried to check in and they wouldn't let us. We were already checked in and we paid for our bags. We just couldn't print out our tickets. We missed our flight. So I had to spend another $355 to book two one ways for me and Fonz to go to DC. That's a major L. I'm so serious about it. This is the detailing portion is where you take most of your time. Like if it takes you 10 minutes to get through your system, another 10 minutes to cut down the top and line them up, take 10 minutes detailing, man. Like that's where you get to the next level. My strategy when I cut hair is to get through the fit system as quickly as possible. It's like taking a test. If you stay on the same question too long, you're not gonna be able to complete the test and then you failed anyways. You have 30 minutes, for example, to finish a haircut. You need to get through the test, get through all the, the questions, then go back to the hard ones that you couldn't answer. That's detailing. That's what's gonna bring your haircut to another level without without losing efficiency. So you go into it with a strategy in mind. Quarter of the way, all the way, we blend it out. And you do that all the way through and your fade is done. And it's okay, like, especially on your first time, this is gonna happen, the first time cutting a particular client, because you're learning the client, right? You're learning his, his haircut, you're learning his head shape. As long as you're learning, the next time you cut his hair, it's gonna be much quicker result. You be scared? Yeah. If you get scared, like I said, just turn it turn it onto the corner. Cause it works just like thinning shears, right? You're not gonna take a whole bunch off. I brought I just brought the trimmer up all the way up here. Just turn it on its corner, right right in here. You're not gonna take a lot of bulk off. You're literally just thinning it out just like you were with thinning shears. Okay so we just went through the class and everything the um, the portion where you know I'm cutting hair um, now we are doing the hands-on portion. Put some miles on those clippers, bro. You you painted them? Uh, I bought them from uh, the hair, hair tailor and immediately you just started shaking. Oh man, wait. Bro, you gonna put them out there like that? <laughs> Can't say names. Pomade, is it water-based? You see the ingredients? It doesn't really look like it's water-based. It looks like it's like petroleum-based. Okay, so half guard, one, two, three. Same problem that we have with, uh, see how it's not as dense, mm -hmm. it's really dense here. Mm -hmm. So I would probably, you know, I would start my guideline here and then bring it down just a little bit just to keep it a little bit denser in this area. He has what? You got, man, you came in here with gum in your hair, bro. Yeah, I would, I would start my foundation, definitely. Cause this hair is so thick right now that I would bring it down to a four or a three. Right above the ridge, I would definitely separate that. See where the calic wants to naturally separate? I'll definitely separate that, right? Because you can always connect this area later, right? Let's just focus on the sides. Yeah. Yeah, even with a number three, you might be okay coming right off the head. Number four would be safer, but yeah, what are we doing? High and tight, marine core, zero down. Okay. But I told her. Wants. You want to you want to do a regular fade first, and then we'll bring it up. Okay. So, so you, yeah, I would start there. Yeah, okay. and then we can give him the the haircut that he wants. Okay. But we want to practice on him, right? So. Gotcha. No, go ahead, do it. Okay. Cool. He has the gumby on top, so it's a little bit higher on this side. Than the other. Does he he wants to keep that look? Yeah. Okay. Let's get you. Do you have a pick? I do. Okay. Let's um let's comb it out real good. Okay. And one of the things I like to do too, spray like a like a spritz with the blow dryer. Pick it. Just pick it. Yeah. I think you could get a, you could get away with starting it down here, okay. and then bringing it down, bring it right? Down. You can get away with that because he has so much space between here and here okay. to create that transition. Okay. okay. Start it like, maybe like right above the ear. Right above the ear. And yep. Take it around. And take it around. Bring okay. it down. So, okay. Right. So you're not going high enough. High enough? How much higher is high enough? Let's see. Hold hold the clipper. Turn it on. So I would. Use the corners and fill it out. See if it's cutting. See how now it's starting to cut? 
I feel like you were playing down here way too, way too much. But if you're using the coins, you go up a little bit higher, start to see it, it starts to lighten up a lot, right? That's it, you don't have to worry about so much curving. So like, boom, that's, that's good enough right there. Okay? Yeah, so something like that, just stretch the skin. Yeah, just stretch it. All right. And just let him know, man, hey, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I gotta, <laughs> gotta get a little aggressive here. He's gonna be wondering why you're palming his head like that, but the fourth can on YouTube. Look at him, in his comfort zone. Just another day in the shop. Show him the hair tailors. Show him the hair tailors. <laughs> Alright, so it looks lighter here mm -hmm. and darker here. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me see a clipper. That's the strategy that I would use okay. to, to lighten that up and make it more consistent all the way through. You're so soft handed. Huh? I said you're so soft handed. I feel like I'll be. A lot, a lot of people say that. Who was it? Was it, um, was it Dre, one of Dre's clients that was like, um, I, I thought. Yeah, he's like, that I thought. That was one of the classes, bro. Yeah. That was Dante, I think. Oh, yeah, it was Dante's client. He's like, um, damn, I didn't realize Dante was pressing so hard until you cut my hair. Is that a gold blade? Is that a gold blade? You'd be buying all the heat? <laughs> Dang, she'd be buying all the heat. She's staying humble, too. <laughs> no, yeah. I think that's a perfect guideline. You're keeping it like real symmetrical, real consistent. So I think it's gonna look dope. My next one would be the blade open. I would compress the blade open a little bit here. I wouldn't bring it up as high as you will here, okay? Because what's gonna happen is this is gonna look lighter than back here. So I would make it, for example, where's your comb? So let's say the top of this comb is the guideline, right? I'll bring it up about there, right, with the half. But then I would start to bring it down just a little bit here. So give more space for the one open here. Make sense? Like fade down from probably like a one. So you're gonna blade down or up? I never, I never blend it. Uh, I never blend up. I need to practice it. You want to practice it? Yeah. So I will go with the blade open, yeah. about that high up, all the way through. Okay. Okay. Just a quarter of an inch, really? No, ain't no damn quarter of an inch. What kind of inches you? <laughs> that's a that's a. Oh shit! Okay. Golly, that's that's a quarter of an inch, Cam. I went to Catholic school. It didn't, you know, it didn't, <laughs> it's not all it's cracked up to be. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Are you coaching her on this or something? No, you're doing the right thing. Coming off the, the shape of his head. Perfect. Okay. You got it. I'll come back. Why are you smiling like that? All right, look. Turn on your clipper. You're left-handed or right-handed? Right. Okay, turn on your clipper. I'm going to hold your hand through this. Just because I want you to feel the motion, okay? We're coming off of his head. Just like this. When you're confident about it, you can go pretty fast, pretty confidently, that the head shape is gonna guide you. You might need to lower the guard one, because I think that's like a number four. I think a number three will work. Let me let me let me just watch watch you before I leave you. Joe, you falling asleep already? Don't go into it with the teeth like that. Okay. Lay on its shape and come up off the head. Oh, Rake It Up. We can do Rake It Up. That's my daughter's favorite song. Don't judge me. It's the radio. Yo, you late. Where am I at, boss? Where am I at? You're not anywhere now because Dre, who was supposed to be assisting me, is sitting down in the chair. I'm sorry, guys. He's failed me. I, I never fail. I go to Georgetown, baby. I don't fail. George, obviously, Georgetown ain't putting good products out. You're late. I'm not a product yet. I'm still being produced. Oh, okay. How you feel, Vinny? Okay. Um... I'm gonna I'm loan you my brush, my okay. handy dandy brush. Okay. Okay. Because anything below a one, mm -hmm. you kind of want to brush because not necessarily to lay the hair down. Okay. A comb can do that, but because of the because you want to be able to see this, the contrast between skin and hair. Skin and hair. Okay. You want to get rid of all that debris. What are you using right now? Right now I'm using the one and a half. Okay. Did you skip the blade open? No, I did the blade open. Right in here. Now the key is. Once you start getting to like your one uh -huh. open, you want to bring it down, keep this darker. It's almost like a mid fade, but the way you make it look like a low fade is by dropping it a little bit here, dropping it a little bit here. All right, talk to me. It's like this area is like 
Yeah. In the back especially, spread it out some more. Bring it up just a little bit more. Because okay. if not, it's, it's going to look dark. You're going to lose that battle. The more you spread it out, the lighter it's going to be in the back, right? And then the more spread out, it's going to match more in this okay. area. Because this is just less dense than the back. If I give this man a high fade, he's, he's gonna have a full hawk, right? That's how much space I got. So, this is what we got to play with. After that, it just, whoa, look at that. That's like half of his head. It had, bro, everybody has cool. something something distinctly special about their heads, cool. okay? Yeah, this is just special, bro. We're not gonna give him a fade up here, up here, up here, because it's just gonna turn into a full hawk. He doesn't want that, he wants a burst fade. So with a burst fade, we need to make sure that this is squared. It starts to already curve right there. So we really only have that much space and that much space to create this blend. You're debulking at the same time by using the shape of his head, okay? Not the shape of a comb, but the shape of his head. Bro, you are, you are tripping right now, bro. Oh my gosh. I'm using the shape of your head right now and then you just move so the shape of your head just changed. <laughs> Come to the, back to the barber shop, to other barber shops, and I will show them my shave gel. I would have shave gel that was gunky, that was white, that wasn't clear, that smelled funny, that didn't smell funny. And in 30 days, I literally created a shave gel. And my team wanted to be a part of it. So between me and my team, in 30 days, we created the shave gel. We signed up for the Orlando premiere. We made the booth. And our booth is, was not a cheap one. We put $13,000 into just, just the setup, not just investing into the booth. And we made it happen. And we launched it at Orlando premiere with 30 days to go. So we go to the Orlando premiere and I didn't know how we were gonna do. We probably shared a little shave gel. So we made them ourselves and uh, we sold 700 bottles at that show. Nobody know who the hell we were. You know I mean, this is a cosmetology show. This ain't a barber show. We sold 700 bottles. We started selling them online from that day. They were selling like crazy. Like the support of my following was insane. And I think at the time I had like 40,000 subscribers. And now I'm at 150,000 subscribers. So. It grew because of subscribers, you know what I mean? Organically, like, I just, any opportunity that was given to me, any idea that was given to me, I just tried it to, and saw what would happen. What was the worst, what was the worst that could happen? Try it, take shots, right? And uh, now it's grown to something pretty amazing. So now you know kind of who I am. All right, so the class went great. I think the look and learn was dope. All in all, Maryland, thank you so much for the DMV area. Thanks for showing us love. Like, I think the class went great. Um, during the class, we found out. So did I tell them about the first flight? I did, right? Okay, so now with this flight, Southwest emailed us to let us know our flights got canceled. We have, a, we have to be in Boston by tomorrow morning by 9 a.m. So we are here, renting a car. We now have to make this seven hour drive so that we can make to Boston and do this all over again. Welcome to our world. Hey, P. Way. Just real quick, man. I just want to give some feedback on the, the look and learn course and the hands on course I did with Chris Baggio here in Dallas. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, man. I, I, I expected nothing less, and I got a lot out of it. My face went from here to here in 12 hours. You want to get out what you put in. And Chris is a, a great, great, great teacher. Maybe the best teacher I've ever seen in the barber game, man. The guy's real. His work is real, you know, so I, uh, thanks to them, thanks to Dre, th thanks to Fonz, man, I got I got to talk to Fonz a lot, man, uh, you know, every, everybody cool, man, they all just like Chris, uh, down to earth people, you know, humble, and, and what more can you ask, man, so, you know, if you got the time and the money, man, I recommend this course, get there, get there, you have to, Chris Baggio, man, I love it, I love you, man, I love y'all's people, keep it up.